Greetings, my name is Tim. Welcome to How Do I Do This 01 at Yahoo.com. Uh, this is Little Steps, and today we're going to talk about font size versus screen size. Within the Windows environment and other operating systems, you have the option for changing your screen resolution. Now, the reason I'm making this video is quite simply because people have asked me and they have posed the question, how do I make my screen size bigger or smaller? And how or why is my font slash text so small when I'm looking at it? Well, the font size and text size are related to two things. One of them is the size that you have set up on your screen, your resolution, and dots per inch. Now, there's a couple things we need to cover. One of them is the screen size. So without getting too deep into this, let's right click on your desktop. Notice I didn't click anywhere here on the side. I didn't click on a program. You have to be on the desktop in order to access this menu bar. Now in Windows XP, you don't see personalize here. You'll see settings instead of personalize. Notice the names are different. The function is the same. Different operating systems will have different ways of accessing this, but every computer that has an operating system slash Linux, um, Macintosh slash Apple, uh, the Windows environment, all of them will have this option to go in and change this. In Apple and in Linux, it's a little bit different to access it, but the point being is it is accessible and it is changeable. So let's go ahead and look at this within the Windows environment. Now this is Vista. Now I haven't done too much in the Windows 7 environment but it's going to be very similar to what you see here. Um, you see display settings and you see desktop background and color and appearance. Now there's three things in the Windows environment that are going to affect your screen size slash your fonts and how big they are. In other words, how much you can see and how much you can read. We're going to cover the one that most people are, are confused with and the one that causes more problems. People change their screen size all the time and that's in display settings. Your display settings will actually change the resolution slash dots per inch that you see on the screen. In other words, here we have 800 by 600. This is at the low end of the spectrum of what most computers can do today. If I move it over here, and you'll notice the screen size up here is changing and you'll also notice these numbers are getting higher as the numbers go up the screen size gets smaller but the fact of the matter is you're actually getting more dots per inch it's not actually changing the screen size it's actually changing how many dots per inch that you see what that translates to is when you click on apply here you'll see that everything gets smaller so it appears smaller but you're actually getting a bigger size more resolution in other words it's crisper and cleaner but you're sacrificing the size of the fonts so let's take a look here now you'll notice everything is teeny on your screen this is the most asked about question when dealing with my screen size is wrong and I can't read my screen the, the letters are too small in most cases this is what you're going to deal with. You're going to need to right click on your screen and make these adjustments here. Now I'll go back over here to the low end, click apply, and it'll move me back up to the 800 by 600. If you're having a problem with your screen size, but you still want to keep your resolution up, what you can do is you can go up here and you can move this over to where you feel comfortable looking at it and click apply. Now, you'll notice here that I've got my screen size up. Now I also can adjust the DPI, dots per inch. Now you'll notice default is 96. The larger scale, in other words, this will make it bigger. This will make the text appear bigger. You get 120 dots per inch. You need to understand when you're dealing with the screen resolution, the higher the number, the smaller the fonts get when you're dealing with your DPI dots per inch this is what you're physically seeing either 96 or 120 in this case this is going to make the font size bigger in other words it'll make it more readable 
you're going to have to practice, you're going to have to learn the correlation between the two and how they relate to your computer because each computer is going to be just a little different. In some cases your, your video card will not allow certain screen settings and in some cases these larger font sizes may or may not be available. It all depends upon the, the resolution you've got and the screen size and your video card. Now let's go back here. I'll go ahead and apply this. Now it's going to tell me I need to restart my computer. In this case it didn't, but I should have to restart to get the larger font size. That's perfectly okay. You'll probably want to restart your computer to do that. But the other thing I wanted to point out was you need to click on this. In Windows XP you have two more boxes right above the effects and advanced. Now if I click on advanced you'll notice here I've got desktop. Um, when you click on the advanced in Windows XP you actually have the options here to change the font size. In other words these text boxes here you can click on them individually and you'll notice I can change the colors here. In Windows XP when you click on something like this you also get the option to change the font size. In other words your DPI is adjustable within Windows XP. In Windows Vista not so much. So anyway, you need to be aware of that. You need to practice with it. And you need to understand that resolution size will affect how big the font is. But the font size is related to your display settings and your DPI. Now just to illustrate this, you need to take a look here. In this case, I'm going to just highlight it. And you'll notice up here. The font size is 14 here, 18 here, 20 here. You notice the font size is changing. The font is getting bigger and the font can change depending upon what you want. I can go with a font size that's very big, very small, and for doing your work within the environment of a of a word processor what what you're seeing here is what's going to appear on the piece of paper that you print out so don't confuse this font size here with the font size on your screen if you're typing text it's completely different when you look at the text here versus what you see for your dots per inch on the screen Anyway, I hope this has explained a little bit about what's going on and why your computer screen may appear smaller or larger and how you can adjust it. Once again, remember, when you're dealing with font size and your screen, your text here on the bars and your text menus are too small, what you do is you right click on the desktop and in Vista you click Personalize, in Windows XP you will click Settings or Properties. Okay? Um, once you click on the Properties, you'll get this window that opens up in, in the case of Windows XP. It looks different and you'll have Display Settings. Within the Display Settings you will have the menu options for your dots per inch, for your color and appearance, and you also with XP will be able to adjust the actual font size for each of these menu items. Okay? Anyway, please practice this. Um, depending upon your operating system, get used to it. Play with it, have fun with it, and see what works best for you. Uh, thanks again for watching and have a great day.